there is a pretty major change to the multiplayer game selection screen, and one that we've talked about a little bit before, but they've added the ability to see the in-game time for any server before you actually join it, and that potentially is going to be super useful and allows you to kind of focus on certain things. So I want to actually focus on evening hunts today, and I was going down through here and looking. I think this would be a good server to join. So. The reason I want to focus on evening hunts is mule deer, because we haven't really hunted them that much on Rancho del Arroyo, and it seems that rabbits are the most active then, and we are still missing a diamond antelope jackrabbit, so we've kind of just been joining servers at random uh, since the map came out, and this is the first time we're really going to focus on one particular time of day, so I'm curious to see kind of how this is going to go. Now for the mule deer portion of our hunt, I thought we'd run with the 270 warden today, just to kind of switch it up and add a bit of challenge, and originally... I hadn't planned on taking that guy out, but I think it might be a good starting point. It kind of guarantees it's pretty much only up from here, and currently we're in the northeast. I want to get up to this lake here because I think most would probably agree it's probably the best mule deer hotspot on the map, but the difficult part about it is, as we have a 116 scoring silver mule deer, there's no, in multiplayer at least, easy like spawn point to it, so of course in single player you could set up a tent and get there quickly, but the closest lodge to it right here is actually broken. You can't spawn there. If you try to fast travel here, I think it spawns you like here or maybe down here. It's the closest spawn point to that. So it's a really long trek to get up here, but it can often be well worth it. And the nice thing is this puts us kind of in like rabbit territory and stuff like that anyways. So I figured we'd run up here at least once during this video and kind of take a look at it. I wonder if that was in here. It may well have been. Max weight blonde. We'll have to look around and see if we see it. Now that is not our buck, and the fact that we have the 270 kind of worries me here. We need to not have Rocky in front of us and stop our shot, but... That was a heart shot, so luckily we're not going to have to track, because we're sort of on a kind of strict time schedule. It's currently 16-11 in game, and I believe the early Mule Deer Drink Zones end at 1700. And it's still quite a run up through this pass to get to that lake, and I want to make sure we get there while they're still drinking. I couldn't really say why these ones were down here, like we're closer to the end of their drink time than the beginning, but nice little 247 common buck, and hopefully that's only the beginning of the solid mule deer bucks we'll see around here. Well, somehow we've managed to find a smaller buck than the one from earlier, but there also are a couple of decent ones around here. That guy right there would be the best, and that's actually a blonde. I think it would be into the max weight range. There's a chance it's actually the buck that we had a track from earlier, but with all the others kind of in the way, we're not going to be able to get a shot till that clears out a little more. It looks like about the same as the last one we shot, but if he'll turn back, we'll try to get a hard shot in there, because of course if we don't make an instant drop shot, they're going to run kind of far. If he does that again, I want to go for that neck. It just felt super doable, so a lot of times when I come up here, especially during the your drink time, I do intentionally speak everything. That's a nice dilute. But, uh, I've never actually seen them over on that side. I've only seen, like, the ones that drink right in here, and then they sort of, because they can't go across the water, they all run the same way, and you can spot them quite easily. But knowing that there's some over across the way as well is actually good information. We'll try to get that dilute buck if he'll give us a shot. In the meantime, we'll go and claim the blonde one. You know, I think that's the same rack again. But they are just continuing to flee. If we can... I figured we'd try to get a lung shot in there, because it's a kind of large animal. Yeah, he's starting to drop. I think we got that. It just takes some time for them to actually go down, so we'll claim our blonde one. By the time we get over there, that guy is definitely going to have expired. 270 for that one, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the same rack as what we just saw on the Dilute, and we got close to hitting the skull there, but didn't lose any points for that. And I know I just saw, I don't know what they were, probably other mule deer. Something kind of like ran up into here. I don't know if they turned back around or where they went. I don't think this could have gone really any more perfectly. We're just getting here to our dilute. Let's actually praise Rocky for that. It is a 254.9. It might be, yes, yeah, the same rack, but the blonde had like wider main beam, so I think the spread credit was higher. That's definitely a nice buck, but it is just hitting a 1700. It's 1659 now. And we can kind of go down and look for the jackrabbits for a little while. That's definitely a good one. Unfortunately, with the 4-5 estimate, no chance at being a diamond level 2. But 
nice little dark brown, uh, I don't know where he's going to be exactly, but probably high gold. It's tough to kind of tell with the rabbits, and I was thinking just before, it's nice to have the mule deer as a part of this. There's another one, same estimate and everything. I don't know if that was further than 150. Must have been. But the nice thing about a big gold mule deer is obviously they have the impressive antlers, so it's a little more fun to shoot, you know, what, what would be probably the equivalent, the couple of mule deer that we just shot uh, compared to the rabbits. Because unless there's the all-important 5 to 6 estimate, or even more important, just the level 3, there's not a whole lot of potential excitement, unless it would be a rare, but it is nice to see some good size ones. We had the dark brown actually 5.9, so that was pretty good, and of all things, a neck shot, but then a second one at 5.5, that was well over 150, we barely even got him, but two at least max estimate rabbits. And hopefully that is going to be a sign of good things to come, but we're probably going to go and maybe check over by this lodge, and we still have some time before 1900. We've been pretty efficient so far with our rabbit hunting. We can maybe get to one or two more spots, and then we'll look for another server that's going to be back at the beginning of Mule Deer Drink Time. Well, this wasn't exactly the plan, but there are just pheasants everywhere. We could have shot there. I think we'd have had that. I'm pretty sure we still got him. There's a rabbit as well. Just a female, but if it's going to run faster, we might as well take it. Just a 3.7. And then I'm pretty confident we did get that rooster. But I'm glad we went to check somewhere else. That last lodge just had absolutely nothing. I think we doubled here. There's too much hunting pressure. So we must have actually hit two different birds. That is the rooster we shot at. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a track from another. There was another rabbit in there, too. But maybe Rocky can help us, and in the meantime, we'll try to keep an eye out for whatever jackrabbits might be in here. Looks to be just the one female. But actually, both of our pheasants are down here as well, so this should be the rooster. It looks like the right size, and it is. Just a 16.6 gold, but nice to get that. But then what else did we hit? The track says a hen. Actually, it sounds like there might be more in here as well. Hen and a small rooster. I mean, we've caused enough pressure, although I guess the hitbox on the cactus are a little bit bigger, so we unfortunately couldn't hit that. It's gonna say it wouldn't really matter. Where was that? The fact that the glow goes away when you get close makes sense, because it's nice for screenshots, but for little animals in the brush, it can be pretty easy to lose them, but we hit it with two different pellets. I'm pretty sure that's the first time we've doubled on a pheasant so far, which is kinda cool, but yeah, after checking at least my favorite rabbit spots, and the fact that it is pretty close to 1900 now, we're probably going to head off to the next server. That is a heck of an estimate for a level 4, up to 350? We actually hit the right buck as well. Pretty sure it'll be a lung hit. There were so many in there this time. There's another big 4. A lot of times they'll actually come around this way, and you can see they're doing it. This was a bit of an odd scenario to begin with, because... The time in the server, we didn't have a lot of kind of wiggle room to work with, so even just getting up here, we had to take the ATV. This is a kind of <gasps> unique rack. That's a tree, which uh, isn't going to help us much. We actually got a vital hit. That is a lot of luck to even get to that point. I'm trying to make sure we don't die, because uh, running back up here would be a pain. But yeah, it was like 16-something when we joined the server. So we took an ATV uh, up to about this point. I think when you get a certain distance away, they don't show on the map anymore. But this is kind of similar to the other racks, but the main beams come around more. Actually, long as both times. I'm pretty pleased with that, but anyway. I wanted to try to get up here and look for Mule Deer, and there were so many, like, I don't even know. There could have been a better one in there. But we definitely got the big four back in here as well. I saw his health dropping as we started to focus on the other mule deer and yeah i mean there's another one up to 343 back in there at this point we might as well take it we have a little bit of time until 1700 i'm not sure i really properly explained that before but 1700 is when the kind of late feed time for the jackrabbit starts and like i said i seem to have the best luck in that sort of late time frame what happened to our first shot there i have no idea we got lungs so we're good Kind of an odd thing shooting mule deer with a 270, but it's fun to have that added challenge of a smaller weapon. And I've got to say, 
I'm pretty pleased with how we managed to overcome that challenge with these ones. So this is a 293. I'm not sure if it was the same rack as the one we just shot. There's one that's just like this, but with two stickers, and that one usually scores just above 300. We'll give Rocky some praise for finding that. And then somewhere over here is going to be our other buck. He actually ran our way, I believe. He really wasn't even that far away. That is, I think, the exact same rack. 291.8 score. Yeah, common and everything. Was that the same exact score? I don't think it would have been, but I really wasn't paying that much attention. It was, yeah, two different ones. Just interesting, same for type, same uh, rack shape and everything. But, 1720 now. So we can get on to checking for rabbits and other stuff once again. I wasn't even aware that could be a thing. A 4kg estimate female jackrabbit. I don't know if that's going to be a gold den. It's 180 meters. I'm trying to... I mean, they're scored by weight. And all of the male 4kg ones are gold, so maybe? The estimate was 3 to 4, but I think 4.80 is the gold requirement. It's a 4.5 silver. That's so interesting. 4.10 kg, because for a male, that weight would be over 5 trophy rating? I wonder if that is the max. Like, a lot of times, 0 0.10 or 0 0.00 weights like that are, like, max weights. Kind of a cool find, but certainly uh, not very special as far as the score goes. And I guess kind of coming back full circle, we have another 4kg male. We'll check the range super quick. 190 meters, so about the same as what we just did. That is going to take him down. I'm pretty sure that is a gray, but just for the heck of it, since we're ready to wrap up. On the off chance that was somehow being held by no, I think we better take that shot. But with our last chance to have a diamond jackrabbit today, our level 2 is going to be, I mean, a 5.9. It's not bad, but still a little below what we actually need there. And I know that was a gray fur type, and this certainly looks to be as well. Just wanted to be absolutely certain. But anyway. Nothing super special to go back to the trophy lodge for, though we had a lot of really solid stuff. We had a bunch of pretty big bucks, a couple of solid rabbits, and that 4kg female one. That's good to know that at least that is a thing, because a lot of times I'll click on the track and not really pay attention male or female. I'm just looking for the weight estimate, and knowing that the females of 4kg are never going to be like anywhere near diamond, at least I'll know to not actually track those down. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.